Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Professional Fishing. And I have managed to get over level 5, which means I have not only opened another map, but I've also opened the ability to do spin casting, which is a very difficult process to learn. Luck luckily, a lot of people have gone on and gone through the trouble and posted this these methods on YouTube, so I was able to get a little bit of... Uh, little bit of information but I tell you once you get the hang of it it's not that hard but one of the things you have to definitely have of course is some type of spinning lure and spinning rod so we're going to go over here first to the store and I'm gonna purchase a new lure mainly because the lure I was using apparently got destroyed by the fish that I was fishing after but we're gonna check through these lures but they're once you hit level 5, they all become pretty much available. and Except for some up here, as you can see. I think that takes a different style. But we're going to grab a couple of them here. The one I really like here is this yellow one. This one was really, really excellent to use on uh, Russian fishing. So it works here re really well as well. It's called the Cyclop Fluo Y2. And I think I'm going to grab a couple of others here. I think I'm going to grab this rubber fish. But I think I'm going to go with the colorful one. It seems like they really like the colors. And I'm going to grab a spinner as well. I think I'll get this red one. Alright. Now we're going to go on back to this map. We are not going to go to the new map just yet. The Wild Plains we will check in the next episode, but for now we're going to stick with Silver Forest. I'm going to find a room with nobody in it. Shouldn't be too hard. Now it looks like I appeared at night. That doesn't matter. I will tell you, I've been catching just as many fish at night as I have been during the day. But if you look at the map, i got a tent set up right here along this little river creek that joins the two lakes and this has been probably one of the best spots that I have found so far for lure fishing because there's lots of bass here and they want you to get rid of the bass so they pay more money for the bass so it's worth your your troubles believe me but there's also a lot of brown trout a lot of rainbow trout and perch here too all of which you can catch with the lure all right let's see here now, I first found this spot here where I can kind of cast up and down the river. Now, on this side, I was mostly getting uh, bass and the occasional perch. And on this side, I was getting rainbow trout and uh, brown trout. Now, the brown trout don't get as much money as the rainbow trout, so that's, the rainbows are what you're really after. But we're going to go ahead and put our new lure on here. You have to hit the control button come over here to where the lures are the bait is it should be oh shoot I forgot to put it in my basket <laughs> hold on I'll be right back that's something that's really important I might as well go ahead and show you this while we're at it because this may be a problem that you'll run into they don't tell you this stuff all the time but come over here to the store and equipment when you buy new lures or something like that what you have to do is switch from the store to the equipment and storage and then you have to put that in that stuff over into your backpack otherwise you're not going to be taking it with you so let me go ahead and see if I can get my lures here here they are now you have to put them over here into your backpack just like this from storage to equipment Otherwise, they're just going to stay in storage. Then you can go back to the free fishing. See, you learn these things as you go along and make mistakes. Once you make one mistake, then you don't make it again. Still nighttime. That's fine. Alright, we are going to try first down this side and see if we can't 
get a bass a little more excited about this so let's go ahead and put our lure on here so you hit control button go over to the baits as you can see you have all your baits here available to you plus the lures as well and I'm gonna put this one here now, I have tested this so I know this is tried and true so we're gonna test this one first now this particular rod can really cast some good distance but the important thing to note guys speed does not seem to matter it's a matter of whether or not that little marker over on the left is floating between those two lines and when it flashes green that's when something's gone after it now it just flashed green and I didn't see it in time so we may have to do this again also the little fish that's on the right side turns green but sometimes you can't see that as you're trying to reel it in if it turns red that just means that your lure has hit the bottom that's all but let it go down a little bit and then start to reel it in watch for that flash you're not going to get as many bites at night as you would during the day but the shell lure seems to really attract them there we go oh 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 oh, oh. if that happens make sure you get your tension way down I had it at 100% and that's why that fish was giving me a hard time there yeah if, if you put it up to 100% you'll notice that down at the bottom it'll start to that line that you see that means there's too much tension. Now what I do when that happens is I try to play them but if it seems like they're too big or too strong like this one seems to be you might want to take it down to 90% and just play them, or play them for a little while. There we go. You may play them for quite a while. I've played them for minutes at a time but you're gonna get you a big fish in here let's see here he is not coming in we're gonna have to we'll put up to 100 percent and try playing him a little bit but I'm gonna do it quick easy as you can see that little red line at the bottom as it goes up just let it go if it goes too fast that way that means he's really strong and then drop it off by using your middle ha middle button. Now well, we've got him. We've got him. No, we don't have him. Try this again. Come here, fish. Oh, he is. He is a booger. There we go. We got him. It is a bass too, guys. There you go. 7.40 pounds up to level 6. I forgot to put my net out, so we'll do that. There you go. And they want you to get rid of the largemouth bass out of here. They're considered a nuisance in Europe. <laughs> Which is interesting. But like I said, the bass seem to be more over on this side than on the other. So I'm going to see if I can't get another bass here. Make these people happy so we're not... They're not messing with their rainbow trout and their brown trout. Now, if you first start this, I will tell you, it might help to take your speed of your reeling in just a little bit down. Now, the way to do that is to use your page up and page down buttons. And if they don't work right away, try hitting the num lock. But if you page down, if you look at that little circle in the middle on the right bottom side, as you can see it going down, that means your reel in speed is going down or up ideal speed is right here it seems like at that speed you will always catch them no matter what I mean it just seems really really good now I like doing it at the higher speed because when I want to reel them in it takes forever <laughs> but I've seemed to play with this enough now that where I've gotten a, a little bit of handle on it so but it's you know it's really your own preference it doesn't make a difference it's not a right or wrong the important thing is to make sure that that lure is in between those two lines on that circle it's on the bottom 
or too close to the top, they just don't seem to bite. Alright, nothing that time. Let's try on this side. <clears throat> like I said, it seems like this side when I cast, I get more trout, both rainbow and brown. Let's see if we can get us one here. And the occasional perch. Now that flashing red just means that it's hitting bottom. And apparently we're in a shallow area here. I'm going to take my speed up just because that's the way I like it, but... Now, I will tell you, honestly, I do better if the day... If it's an early morning or sunset than I do at night. This is the time the map brought us. There we go. Yeah, it didn't take us long to get something. I'm going to take us up to 100%. But like I said, I prefer the full speed. That's just me. I think we do have us a trout here. I think it's a rainbow too. Yep, there you go. Now the rainbow bring a lot more money in than the browns. And the bass bring a lot of money in. So if you get bass and rainbows, you're going to get a lot of cash for those guys. The brown's not bad. Perch, nah, not so much. They're usually little. Unless they're a decent sized one, you're not going to bring in a whole lot. There we go. I think we were just a little bit in the shallow area over there. Too bad we can't get us a brown in, just so you can see. Okay, this is a big fish. So we're going to have to be careful and watch our tension. This might be a brown, just judging from the sheer size. Yes, it is. 5.46 pound brown trout. That's what they look like, guys. There you go. Now let's see if we can get us another bass over here and I'll take you to another place that's pretty good. It's still along the river, just on a different spot. But I tell you, on a good day, you can sit there and pretty much catch something almost every cast. There we go. Yeah, whatever this guy is, he's not huge, but can't tell what he is just yet. I think he's a bass. Yes, he is. Saw the green. He's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're going to head on up here to this other location. See right here, it says... If you catch this fish, do not release. It is highly invasive and a threat to the ecosystem. Be sure to secure the fish so it does not re-enter the waters. <laughs> yeah, in Europe, the largemouth bass is a nuisance. They don't like them. Here, we love them. Just kind of, I just thought that was kind of odd. <laughs> anyway, there's another good spot over here. So you can actually cast out into this lake as the waters en enter in here. There we go. Okay, he's not enormous. So we'll see what he is. Probably a trout, just by the way he's fighting. Uh, yeah, it is. 
Is it a rainbow? No, it's a brown. And I forgot my net again. There it is. Just hit in. It doesn't matter if you move or not. The net will follow you. But if you don't have it down, you'll just end up tossing it right back in the water. <laughs> Which is going to kind of defeat the purpose. But just pretty much anywhere along this river is really good, guys. And we're going to see what this guy is. I'm thinking it's probably a largemouth bass. Just because they love to be around lily pads. And I think that's really the only American species that's on this game so far. Yeah, it's a bass. Yeah, he's not as big as the last one we got, but... Hey, he counts. Let's see. Let's try over next to that tree. See if we can't get us a rainbow here. Nothing wanted to go for at that time. There we go. That was fast. But as you can see, they come pretty quick. It's a really good place for the spin casting. Looks like we've got us a rainbow, which is excellent. That means good money. No, it's a brown. I'm sure it's a rainbow. Oh, well. All right. I might go ahead and see if I can switch lures here. Now, I haven't tried these other two. I'm going to try the spinner. <coughs> I'm more familiar with the spinners. and seems like I have more luck with them in other games. So, let's just try it here see how they go for that. I would imagine the technique's pretty much the same. Shouldn't have changed. There we go. So they're biting off that pretty good too. Let's see what we got here. Now this guy is not very big. Another brown. And let's go ahead and give the other one a try too, just to see. Just so we get experience, a little bit of experience with all three. That seems to be the hot area right over here. As you can see, these are all sinking lures. These are not uh, not the top water. Dead gone something bit out. There it goes. Okay. Well, they're all doing really well, guys. Alright, we got some kind of trout. Let's see here. Brown. Yeah, it seems like the trout in most games tend to go for the spinners more so than the bass do. While the bass like the spoons. So that can differentiate what you're catching real easily. It looks like the line I've got in here is starting to break down a little bit. I don't know if you can see over on the left side, but it's getting yellow and it's more than halfway gone. So I'm wearing it out pretty quick. But let's see if we can get this net a little more full and then we'll take this over and sell the fish. But I've gotten to the third tier of nets. This one holds up to 55 pounds of fish. So the one I had before only held like 33 or something like that. But you have to go out all the way out of the map in order to sell your fish, which... It is a little tricky.
There we go. Like I said, always watch your tension. Make sure that that doesn't go too far into the red. What do we got here, guys? Looks like we have another largemouth bass. There we go. 3.08 pound largemouth bass. All right. Well, we're going to have to go on over there because this is getting a little bit long here. So, hit escape. And then, yes, you want to leave the fishing location. Then you come down here to the sto uh, fish market. And then over here it tells you how much you have in fish weight-wise total and how much they're worth. Now, it'll tell you just how big these fish are. I think the maximum weight for a bass is 22 pounds. This is a 7.40 pound fish bass that's a good size bass so just him alone he brings ninety four dollars so that's really good but all total with I've got a rain couple of rainbows I've got a bunch of brown trout and some bass here five hundred and twelve dollars so it doesn't take long to get your money up guys just a lot of patience and getting a really good location but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Professional Fishing. So until then, I will see you guys later. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.